We live at uh, 19 East Foot Avenue, Long Branch. And I feel the same way this lady does, only my property is wide enough in the front that it can hold four of those trucks. And a lot of times, it's four parked up there. And I can't even look across the street. I have pictures that I uh, went to the expense of uh, using my camera and large them. I got five sets. So if you want to have a look at them and see what it looked like from my front yard trying to look across the street. Plus the property value will fall dramatically. Uh, who would want to buy a house with all these commercial trucks parked there? Uh, one other issue I'd uh, like to uh, ask about. Uh, this is uh, number two. Does this say, is this number two in addendum to number one above it in the paragraph, which was the old ordinance, or it replaces the old ordinance? So number two is, in, it, this is an addition to the old ordinance. So the old ordinance still stands. Correct. Which, so, so the old, so, so for everybody's edification, the old ordinance barred the parking of certain vehicles above a gross weight anywhere in the city, and that remains in effect. What we did was we expanded the definition to, to for commercial vehicles to be not just vehicles that were over a certain weight, but vehicles that were commercial in nature, either registered commercial or had lettering on it, or, you know, we, we, we put a pretty expansive definition in to try to cap, capture, you know, a vehicle, a van that might have, that's clearly a work van, but might be res, uh, registered as a um, passenger vehicle. So we expanded it. Yes, and I was wondering how would you be able to determine a vehicle, one of those vans, how would you be able to estimate it weighs 8,000 pounds? Well, most, most times it's not lettered on the side of the truck like the larger vehicles are. It doesn't, these are vans, long vans, you know, like 24 feet. And, and that's why the, the, the number two that you were talking about doesn't have anything to do with the weight class. So regardless, so, of, it, regardless of the weight class, okay. it, it, it includes all vehicles that that are either registered commercial or have lettering or design showing the name or, or, or contact information about commercial services. So we've kind of tried to expand it as, as much as we can. Okay. And I, 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 once again, I would need the traffic bureau to tell you what, you know, what they do to determine what the gross weight of the vehicle is. But some of it has to do with the vehicle class and how it's registered and all those things. Yeah, I did some homework when I went to the motor vehicle and asked why can you determine the weight of the vehicle. They said, let's a, let's a stamp on the side of the truck. They would have to open the door and look at the panel on the side of the truck. And I don't think police officers should be opening somebody's vehicle that's determined if the way they talk to them. Which is why we expanded the definition. Okay. Because, we, because we, that was one of the issues specific. That fact that maybe the first issue that we were struggling with, which the police came to us and said, we have this problem, right? That unless the gross weight is uh, appropriately marked on the outside of the vehicle, it's hard for us to tell, and we need you know, a, a better definition. Right, so like, um, one other thing, you know, like the lady that was before me, all these uh, vans have an address. One have an address in Linden, New Jersey. One have an address across town. None of them. The sign is painted on the sign that says uh, what they do in the uh, phone number and all that. Uh, but address is, uh, is not in 1940. In fact, uh, the house next to me, uh, 21 I think it is, there's five vehicles that drivers come and go on a regular basis from their residence. Five vehicles. Not only the three panel trucks, they pick up at a regular, regular passenger car. Five. I don't know how five people live over there, but they, they come out the same building almost every day. This ordinance will fix that. Okay. 